This one is called, with apologies, in alphabetical order, to Ahab and Blake. <laughs> a beach at night and an empty room talk the common language of the calendar of silences, as if marking time in the long lapses between ghosts of celebration. A slow walk, as in a summons when and where there is neither sun nor time for kindling to build warmth, to make of a doom a wall for sleep and its, le and its linking verb of a dream. The votive journey door to door from one cluster of rooms to another, spaces I thought each time to be my reservation, and yet no more solid than balancing a board atop an enraged roof of the tides. Where to turn when the gravity of time wound down no longer points the way home from your stunts. You seized and remanded my darkness with your blow, shouts and shrieks parsing the syntax of abandon and regret. What might justly frame your voluptuous heat, like some field of cane blazing up and boiling over, out of that ghost of our theater where the bed lay, from where your climax slipped out of my touch beyond my hearing, sweat loitering in a kind of galvanic murmur, an echoing artifact of panic left in the wake of some coup d'etat against the solidarity of pleasure, against the renewal of love itself, or perhaps only like twigs drifting into the formation of a crucifix upon a puddle. This tapestry, counterwoven of failed faith, summoning meditation upon the preciousness of rainfall on farther, less replenishable shores, implored drop of water, implored drop of sweat, no more than the dropping of coins into a hollow dance upon a penitential drum atop the enraged roof of the tides. This one is, a little dose of Dadaism won't kill you. A little dose of Dadaism won't kill you, always a useful corrective for that ornamental surge of selectively recovered memory, that choir of counterfeiture people like to call nostalgia. A little dose of Dadaism won't kill you, it might even let you hang back with Heisenberg, as if either you or I might have done so, so as not to disturb the idle wonderment of library matrons mutually thinking aloud upon the difference between civil war and the war between the states in reference to that particular American eruption of bondage and blood. A little dose of Dadaism won't kill you, no worse than a detour round a blundering parade of lives hand carried in toys dimly aglow with the fetishes of consumer incarceration, or those itineraries negotiated round those exhalations wasted in pilgrimages through transient riots of victory, silver spoon rations of riot calibrated by that penis pump of the ego of pompadoured fascism, the pimp as architect of the psychic slum, a little dose of Dadaism would kill neither you nor me. Even with the focus of the twilight too insistent between my end of the field and yours, memories adrift upon it as if upon some inland sea of shadows laid out to the horizon of the mirroring wall of a stranger's indecipherable <coughs> reflection, smile exchanged with the smile of an invisible third party and still bailing for salvation out of remnants of light? Or am I just kidding myself when I know that one of those smiles must be yours, but none of them can be mine? <laughs> <laughs>